Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com This is Let Me Bore You to Sleep And my name is Jason Newland And my belly is squeaking against the side of the table or rather the the clothes that I'm wearing is pushing against the table because I'm a bit, bit too close. I'm just going to move back. Oh, it's better. I can breathe now. Please only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes. So... A few things really, I'm going to just talk today, which, you know, kind of is what I do anyway, but I thought I'd give you a little bit of an update about my life, kind of what I'm doing at the moment. And it might, oh, that's a weird noise I just made. I sometimes wonder if you can hear the noises that I hear. Sometimes I'm like, like that. I feel, or I hear my stomach go, and I wonder if the microphone picks it up because I never listen back to anything I record generally. Unless there's like a major, uh, you know, a big noise, or you know, someone uh, puts the rubbish out while I'm doing it. I uh, mean, in my room, but like they're in the garden, and then I, you know, there's a big bang at the door, and the rubbish saying, "Please let me stay in the house," uh, you know, stuff like that. So, um then I'll have to listen back but usually I can see the spike on the recording so I can roughly see where it is or if I cough or something like that usually I try and um, I pause if I'm going to have a little cough or something and you may say yeah what about farts then why don't you pause when you do farts why don't you edit the farts out never ever farted Andre sometimes lets one off and I always say Andre like that so you know that it's him so there and because I'm a professional I'm a pro I am I'm a professional I'm a pro a pro a pro a posi no I don't know you know just professional and sometimes. So what, what was I saying? Yeah, I have. I've done a, a new deep sleep whisper hypnosis session today. The first one I've done since I think the 1st of September. And I know it's only like the 5th today, is it? 5th of September? But I normally do them every day or, you know re- generally when I'm on a roll I'll do them every day but I had a weird day yesterday so or the day before well, the last two days not weird as in ooh, not spooky um, but it kind of just so I looked after my friend's dog but I didn't get any sleep. Now I could have mani- well, I could have moved Andre into the living room and took the dog into the bedroom with me, and we could have slept. He'd sleep on the bed with me, and um, I probably wouldn't have got a lot of sleep because it's just a bit unfamiliar for me. So, and there's a joke there somewhere that I'm not gonna, I'm not. But yeah, um, it's been a while since I slept with. It's, normally I sleep on my own that's what I'm saying I'm not used to having someone else there with me 
obviously <laughs> sleeping apart from Andre and even then he takes up a lot of the bed Andre does considering how little he is he takes up three quarters of the bed I do sometimes I'll, I think well especially if it's during the day or it's I'm already up so it might be like you know late afternoon and I think oh, I'll go and have a little nap and he'll already have the bed and it's not a case of yes I have my half and he has his half he decides where he's going to sleep so sometimes he'll sleep up and he'll have his head on the pillow like a human which is weird other times it'll be at the bottom of the bed sometimes it'll be in the middle of the bed sometimes it'll actually be inside the quilt sometimes I don't even know he's there and I pull the quilt over and kind of jump on and sometimes I hear him go you know they really like what, what the hell's that the other day I was in bed for about half an hour just drifting off and suddenly the bed started moving it made me jump but he was in there I didn't even know he was in the bed he was in the bed because when he is asleep like proper asleep it's kind of difficult to wake him up he's really you know in fact he even goes to the toilet when he's asleep I mean he gets up runs to the paper does a wee or whatever and then runs back and goes to sleep but he's not awake during that process which explains his aim or lack of aim sometimes and sometimes he'll get up and do a wee or he'll try to run out and scratch have a little scratch and then might go back into the bed and I'll pick him up and I'll like you know just walk him over and I'll sit down in my big black squeaky chair and maybe watch television or whatever and he just he's asleep falls asleep in my arms sometimes I put him on my lap and you just just let him lay there or I'll just hold him and you know and then nearly every time when he wakes up he looks at me like who are you what are you, what are you doing get off me and he jumps off sometimes he's gentle he's like oh you are right, dad you know he can't, but other times like what are you doing really he just like straight away like gives me a little nip little bites me and runs off like blimey that's what he's like he's uh a little bugger he is he spent all day sleeping admittedly I spent all day sleeping as well but he's still sleeping he's spent all day and all night and he's asleep on my bed now he just doesn't he's just having one of those days where he doesn't want to do anything anyway so that, that's what happened that day that was on Tuesday and in the early evening Tuesday I was so tired but I wasn't and I got a couple of hours sleep and then during the night again I was I made one recording and I've been working on my website and again I felt tired but I felt it was more moving towards uncomfortable feeling of feeling tired but not wanting to go to sleep which I kind of get a little bit when I'm busy if when I'm when I'm working on the website I do I have this little uh, kind of get into the zone a bit which uh, I've got into quite a few times over the years 
where I don't even want to eat, I don't want to do anything, I don't want to go to the toilet, I just want to finish what I'm doing on the website. And then I discovered porn, and it all changed. No, joking. Um, nothing changed. So, so I was doing all that stuff. And I went to bed about six o'clock, maybe earlier actually, in this morning or yesterday morning. And Andre was asleep on the bed, so I just went to sleep with him, thinking that it'd be cool, you know. And then just as I was drifting off to sleep, he was scratching at his um, brown cat litter, not cat, not litter, but cat scratchy box thing that he's got. So he wanted me to get out of bed, but I couldn't, I couldn't do it. So, I, well, I did get out of bed, but I just couldn't face being up. I needed to go to sleep. So I got up got his slipper and I got a little little trick where I hold his slipper that's his girlfriend I let him sniff it and then don't let him get near it like the whole and he, cuts it. he wants it then it's like <laughs> that's the noise he makes so that's a bit of like frustration anger like can't give it to me now so Eventually I do give it to him and he, he grabs it and he runs off to hide it from me or hide her from me. Or it might be a boy hide him from me, I don't know. And the, it was a slipper. And while he's doing that, I close the front door, the, the living room door, and I go to sleep and I have a good sleep. Nice, nice sleep. Wake up about half one in the afternoon. Now, the previous... I basically spent all day from when I got up until just before 10 o'clock this evening watching the Parliament channel because there's been all this stuff about Brexit and the uh, lots of voting and then voting for a general election which didn't go through and you know it's just all this like uh, I don't know I find it interesting but it's it's not particularly positive stuff so, um, but I'm, I find I've got a little bit hooked on it and I've missed it because I've been on holiday for probably what five, six weeks. Uh, so I've not seen any of the Parliament for that time. And before that, I used to watch it nearly every day. It's I find it quite stimulating, like mentally, because there's a lot of really intelligent people. Um, okay, well, intelligent, but they're articulate. Um, debating about stuff and I like to see it's not just two sides of a story or of an opinion but you've got different versions of different sides so you've got the well it's not even two sides because you think about it in, in our parliament you've got the Conservatives or the Tories you've got Labour which is so Conservatives are the they're the government the, tour, the Labour are the major opposition but there are other ones, you've got the what ones have we got? The Liberal Democrats you've got the Brexit Party there's also the Independents there's an Independence Party there's, or there's a bunch of independent I think 42 independent MPs there's the Change UK party, which 
that's like a little joke party that we have and you've got the uh, what is it the, the Northern Irish party I forget the name and DMP DM something and then you've got the Scottish SD SDP or SMP party and possibly there's a Welsh one as well I don't know so it's yeah it's quite interesting to see how it all kind of unfolds and although I would quite like I'd like the MPs to be tested I'd like them to go in one day on a, perhaps just before Prime Minister's question time or maybe a late afternoon debate where it's big I'd like them all to get drug tested and alcohol tested just to see how many of them are over the limit on alcohol even though they're not driving just to see how many are like you know drunk and how many are have got drugs in their system because I watch the behaviour of some of them I suppose I should be I shouldn't mention names because I don't want to get sued and lose my I don't know, table I don't know what have I got <laughs> got very little to lose as far as actual things unlikely they're going to take my big black squeaky chair because it's peeling it's falling apart but yeah it's uh, it's one that I really do I'll make this prediction it's one that I think is proper um, sniffy sniff sniffing I would say I can't say his or her name but I'll say it um, uh, trying to think of room his name remind it, 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 it rhymes with Cycle, cycle, as in bicycle, a cycle. I'm cycling, or cycle, as in menstrual. Well, no, as in a period. No, of you know, an allotted time, a cycle, like an uh, like the lunar cycle. So that would be one, one, one of one rhymey. The next would be. Is Bove a name? It's not a word, is it? Bove. Hove. Yeah, Hove. That's the name of a town, isn't it? Hove. Yeah. So I think that'd be really interesting to get them all tested. And, you know, can you imagine what a clear out that might be? But uh, yeah, that's what I'd like to see. Because I see, there was one, it's the same person actually that I'm just thinking of, and he went on, this is months and months ago, and he was basically trying out, uh, it seemed like he was, and he'd rehearsed, it was almost like he was doing an open spot in a comedy club, like he was auditioning to be a comedian or something and there was a lot of puns and a lot of 
making fun of other people in the room and you know very well rehearsed very well presented I guess and this yeah and I think there was some complaints but anyway so that's what I've been doing I've been watching that all day and kind of came to nothing really it's almost like a relationship and then I yeah I kind of slept a bit and one change I've made and I'm not enjoying it is I haven't had any Coca-Cola talking about Coke I haven't had any Coca-Cola today or yesterday rather or today yet yeah. so since I went to bed and woke up I've had no coke and you may think mm, that's nothing which you know kind of it's true I had nothing I had no coke it's each to our own we've all got our own little things that we like to do and I like drinking coke but I realise and I'm kind of starting to feel the effects of it it's I don't think it's sort of helping me well it's never going to help is it but there's um, yeah I'm feeling just I'm feeling it's time to kind of stop uh, so that's that's what I did yesterday I stopped drinking coke I haven't had any um, I tried to drink alcohol last week but I couldn't well I could it's not that I couldn't get the lid couldn't get the lid off the bowl um, I bought some vodka and I'm not a drinker I don't drink alcohol anymore really rarely you know only at like weddings and stuff like that uh, parties I mean it's yeah but I I got this vodka and I had it with I got a Red Bull I got two bowl, two cans of Red Bull because I thought oh I've never tried this I want to give it a go and it was horrible but I didn't like it so I ended up drinking probably half of the cup and just chucking the rest away and I'd probably it was only a small bottle of vodka it was like a half bottle and I'd, I'd drunk maybe 20% 10% of it so it was a very small amount and I was thinking why that's not fair but yeah it just doesn't suit me anymore I've tried drinking cans of lager and that doesn't do it anymore I just it's weird isn't it something that I used to do regularly for years not not vodka but like lager I used to drink lager and now just no can't even just don't like alcohol anymore so that's a it's a weird one I don't know I mean it's great if I if I was uh, it'd be great for a lot of people if they suddenly just didn't like it anymore you know, save quite a few lives I imagine if the right people had that feeling of just like oh this is disgusting now I don't like it you know but for me it was just something to do and just like Ugh. doesn't I don't have anything that gives me that that buzz that perhaps I used to get when I was younger from various things I don't I think I don't know it's, it's something about why would I want to feel 
amazing whilst watching television. This just seems a bit pointless. It's like, why not just feel the way I feel and enjoy the program and, you know, just feel how I am rather than uh, have a, a like a fake feeling. Doesn't seem to be much point to it, really. Just having a fake feeling. I'm going to, you know, that's all it is. It's not real. It's just a feeling. Brought on well, with alcohol, it's brought on by poisoning the system isn't it so I think I don't know I'm not anti alcohol I just I'm annoyed because I can't drink it anymore and get any pleasure mind you I haven't tried everything I mean I can't do whiskey but I was thinking of is it Natrone Matrone Latrone that's supposed to be pretty good so I might I'm determined to find something that gives me a buzz. Oh dear. No, I'm not bothered about alcohol at all. But Coke, I just started thinking, you know, if I keep drinking it, clearly it's not doing any good for my weight. It's not doing any good for my body. It's not doing any good for my teeth. Um, or my stomach, like internally. Although, apparently if you put a, an old dirty coin in a cup and you pour coke, fill the, and you pour coke over it and fill the cup with coke, that's a waste of coke. Now apparently, leave it overnight and it will be shiny by the next day. So I thought I must have the I must have the cleanest stomach, the shiniest intestines in the world. They must be like perfect. So that's one good thing. And the what else have I done today? Not done much. That's pretty much it. I've just been listening to Zig Ziglar over the top. And it's so I, I've liked Zig Ziglar for a long, long time since 1998, I think, or it might have even been 97, the end of the year 97, when I started listening to him um, in order to just give myself some positivity you know introduce some positivity into my life and which is why I'm doing it now I want to I want to have more positivity uh, going in when I make recordings I mean not maybe I try not to I try to be okay with these ones I don't think it's I try to be kind of positive of everything I do recording wise especially with uh, the hypnosis stuff and um, so when you got when you're giving you have to take you have to have something going in when there's stuff going out so that's what I'm trying to do with the the positive recordings that I listen to um, and it really helps until I have contact with a human and I just I kind of feel the negativity from them and I sometimes feel myself going back to my old ways which I don't want to I think because I can be really at times quite harsh verbally like as a joke and I don't think it's always helpful for me to do that or I might say something about myself quite self-depreciating and I don't think that's well it's funny it's not always helpful if it's done too often because what we say to ourselves affects ourselves 
and we listen to ourselves more than we listen to other people and we definitely listen to other people that stuff goes in so when we say it to ourselves there's no block in it it's straight in there and even though we know consciously that we're just choking around your unconscious mind does not know that doesn't know, doesn't care, can't distinguish the unconscious mind assumes that everything you do and say is real is what you mean takes it literally doesn't understand irony doesn't understand sarcasm and it tries to give you what you think about it's all it's basically you know your unconscious mind is the, the your best friend in the whole wide world will give you everything that you want if it can but it doesn't always know what you want because what you think about or what I think about or what we think about isn't always the things we want it's often the things we don't want so it's kind of making those changes so what I'm trying to do trying to do that because self development moving forward progression progression progressing it's, it doesn't stop that's a never it's a never ending process it does never it's never completed and I quite like that kind of don't like it in some plight I'd like to get to a point where I could say yeah I'm an expert on this now I'm accomplished I've you know but I realise I can't do that in anything in life no one's you know we never get well maybe we do I suppose in sport you could say that someone that wins every grand slam in tennis uh, like Serena Williams or uh, you know it's just you can't get any better than that and she's got as far as she can get which is probably true because she's getting older and, but if she'd have just got if she'd have won her first grand slam or she'd have uh, got to be the number one tennis player in the world which would probably be about 15 years ago probably wouldn't it but when she was first the number one player and she'd won all those grand slams and she thought ah that's it I don't need to practice anymore I'll just turn up to the tournaments she wouldn't be remembered the way she is she wouldn't be in the position she is she wouldn't be able to win Grand Slams at her age because she hadn't practiced. She hadn't, you know. It's the same with the, what's it, the bloke, the man, the bloke. Um, not Nadal. Is he, is he from Croatia, isn't he? Um, should know I'm not really a tennis fan but he is the most famous tennis player and classed as by many as the best tennis player like male tennis player that's ever been and I can't even think of his name it's the same with him you know if he stopped once he won the US Open and uh, Wimbledon and you know all those things and he said oh I'm now the best I can ever be I can just sit around watching telly and just that's it he wouldn't be classed as one of the greatest because 
he hasn't he wouldn't have done anything for the last 15 16 years it's kind of yeah I don't know I like the idea of was it something Zig Ziglar says is positivity or motivation does wear off it wears off it doesn't it's not something that you can just focus on for 20 minutes a week and then you're okay for the rest of the week it wears off and then he says yeah, so does bathing so does washing you know just wash yourself once and that's it has to be done every day roughly <laughs> depends how lazy you are so being clean isn't something that stays it's something that has to keep being done it's nice though isn't it when you get out of the bath or a shower and you know that you're just so clean oh feels lovely that's why I just wish that I'd I'd like to have a a garden where there was no one else about it was not overlooked and I could just run around the garden completely naked maybe with my socks on depending and uh, a little miniature rocket pack and a helmet pretend I like to pretend I'm rocket man or iron man but just generally, just running around. I was going to say doing handstands, but I'll probably. I'll be, I'll be worried that my balls would hit me in the face. But I think this is really nice because, you know, I like to keep balls around and uh, balance them on my knees. And so it's really good fun pretending that I'm a professional football player. be nice just to run around and what I thought would be good is have a little not nub or not nub that's the wrong word a little hill just a little hill you know just in the middle of the garden or maybe not in the middle because that would get in the way of the cricket pitch but it's the yeah like a little hill just something you can just stand on kind of like a mole hill but a little big and I can sing the sound of music. The hills are alive, or the hill is alive with the sounds of ants. Hmm. And that'd be wonderful. And then I could get to wear my big blonde wig that I don't get to wear at the moment. So yeah, I'd like to do that. That'd be something that'd be quite cool. It's uh, there's nothing weird about the wig. It's you know I don't I don't think that I'm my mother when I'm wearing it. It's just you know it's nothing quite like that. But I've been working on my website, so JasonNewlands.com is up and running. So. I didn't mention this. I don't know if I did this today or yesterday. I forget. I think it was yesterday. I phoned up the host for the website. Because I'm building it on WordPress. But it's, it's hosted by a host provider. That host provides the space and the security and all that stuff. And I said to them. I don't think my website's working properly. Because I've got my domain name pointed towards the web host. But when I try and play it, it comes up as not on there. You know, it doesn't let me log into the, the admin either. But when I open up in a private window, it works. And when I play it on my phone... The website works and the lady said yeah it's just it's fine 
is uh, you just don't know what you're doing. I said, excuse me? She said, no, no, it's okay. We get a lot of people that are useless that phone up. I said, what, what are you saying? She said, look, it's my last day here. I say what I want. I just think you, you sound like you're very short as well. You've got a little man syndrome. I said, what are you talking about? That's really rude. She said, I don't care. You know what I'm doing at the moment? I'm eating a peanut butter sandwich while I'm talking to you. And I'm wearing skis. I'm not allowed to do either of those things normally when I'm at the desk. No one can say anything to me. I said, can I speak to someone else, please? And she said, nope. I said, I'd like to speak to a man manager. She said, sorry, we don't have a man manager here. I said, now that's rude. She said, I know, that's the point. And uh, none of that happened. No, she was really lovely. She said, yeah, it's, it's working fine. It's just your cookies are, you need to clear the cookies. I said, I've got no cookies left. I ate them all at the weekend. And we laughed for about 10 minutes. And uh, she said, no, you've got to just delete them all from the Google Chrome or whatever it is you're using. I said, okay, and that will, that will sort it out, will it? She said, yeah. I said, oh. And she said, well, you've got... She told me that she checked every single server or every single... Um, what do you call it? Internet search engine thing. Because apparently, they, you know, she's got access to everything and every single phone and just let you know if it works and it's working on everything um, so that's good it's she said well, it's, it needs to be protected though it's, I haven't got an SSL card or SLL card on it I said what's that she said well it basically Google two years ago decided that they were going to only rate websites if they had security certificates I said but I'm not selling anything it's just a free service that I have and she said you stop going on about that free service everyone knows it's free and we'll keep going on about how it's free you know would you, would, would you want a gold medal I said excuse me she said sorry so I couldn't help myself so I tell you it's my last day I said yeah 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 and I said, how much would it cost? She said, it'd be about £150. I'm like, what? I was like, nah, nah, I can't afford that. So she said, yeah, I understand. I said, well, can I pay it monthly with the, the web hosting? She said, nah, no, I don't offer that, I'm afraid don't offer that service which is something that I'm thinking of saying the next time someone asks to borrow money from me sorry I don't offer that service <laughs> if I'm in the street and someone stops in their car and says I don't suppose you can give me directions to the nearest uh, petrol station sorry I don't offer that service that's going to be my new thing I'm going to start a trend. Sorry. You know, I don't offer that service. Oh, please, can you help? Can you help? Can you call an ambulance? Sorry. <laughs> I don't offer that service. I'm going to use it a lot. Well, I'll use it for one day. I'll probably end up getting into trouble. But, uh, Yeah, I think it could be quite good. If someone wants to sort of offload on me, that sounds weird, but you know, I'm not talking a offload, as in um, verbalising their uh, unhappiness with whatever's going on with them. Like I said, I'm just going to stop you there. I don't offer this service. I realise you're trying to offload, but I don't offer that. Sorry. But you're a counsellor. Yeah. 
and you haven't paid me anything, have you? Yeah. You know, really, you think about it, I still owe £27,000 on my student loan. So if I do, if I do have like a private practice, I really need to be charging, I don't know, 10,000 each one, or a thousand pounds for each one, have 27, or have 30 clients, and then make a profit, then retire. Yeah. Some people do say, well, JJ, why don't you do, why don't you see private clients with your hypnosis -y stuff? And I said, well, there's a few reasons. But one of the reasons is that I would prefer to make a recording that reaches thousands of people than to see one person. for an hour and the most amount of people I could see in a day would be probably six six sessions would be a lot for one day that's, that's, a, that's a busy day so six people yet yeah, with the recordings like yesterday I reached 3,000 people 3,000 downloads yesterday So it's kind of, I prefer, I suppose I prefer doing this because I can do this because it's something that I'm used to doing and I prefer it. I like to, I like the idea of people being in a completely different country listening to me dribbling on or doing a hypnosis session, gaining benefit from me being, and you know, I think it's brilliant. It's, uh, I can't even say if you'd have told me this 10 years ago, because I've been doing it for so long now, that actually it's hard to remember a time when I didn't do this in some format, whether it's making videos, making MP3s available on my website, whether it's doing the podcasts, you know, it's been lots of different formats that I've given away my free service. And I can't remember what it was like to to not do this just it would seem weird if I wasn't doing it anymore yeah it'd be weird by the way if you want to help me in any way uh, go to my website and there's details on how you can help me and also if you want to you could send me a book which could be on a subject that you'd like me to talk about. So it could be, if you find the most boring subject that's boring to you, or something that you imagine would be very boring for me to talk about, uh, then send it, send me it, and then I will look at it. And make sure you put your name so I know who sent it, and I'll, I'll mention you in the, in the uh, recording. And then I'll dip in and out of that book if it's if it's something that's fun to read out of. I'll dip in and out of it in the future as well. So I've got four books at the moment, but I'd like to I'd like to do stuff that you would like me to do as well. Because I know I do these ones where I just talk, but I do you know I want to do more of the. You know, interesting facts, kind of boring facts. Uh, talk about 
talking about knots and birds and um, the list is endless. Um, what I'm planning, if I if it hadn't been raining today, like it was really raining proper, um, I would have quite liked to have uh, gone and got a book from the market because they sound cheap. So I could have gone and found some really old stuff. Maybe even some old comics like Wizard and Chips or The Dandy and could have read it to you and described what was going on. Oh, that would have been good. Oh, yeah. I would have liked that. But... Uh, So with the website, it's going really good. Um, Now that I know it's working, I'm pleased. And I've been working on it most of the day, I suppose, on and off. And I've got, um, I'm in the process of, I've got a category or categories, which has got a list of all the different podcasts that I've got, uh, and it's you click on each one, and it says it shows you how many in each each podcast or each section rather. You know, like for example, let me bore you to sleep. You click on there, and it will say there's a hundred and th- like two hundred and nine or whatever it is, and then you click on that, and it'll show you it'll list them all, but it will show you the lot. You know, the most recent one at the top and then you can listen to it or you can just skim through and go through the different pages and find one that you want from the past so I've I'm not sure if I've got the let me boy to sleep ones on there yet but I've just done the deep sleep whisper ones so there's 138 Although there's now 139 because I did one today. Um, so I'm still going through them. So I've got, was it, 45 podcasts. So I'm going through them. And it's Wednesday, well, it's Thursday today. So I should have most of them done by the weekend. So I'll be pleased with that. And But it's, it's functioning. It's a very functional website. I like things to be quite basic, so it's it's not really much in the in the way of there's no whistles involved, <laughs> no flags. Is it is that saying flags and whistles? No bunting. It's just very you know basic, but I'll add a few bits to it, and I'll change the design over time, but not the content. The content will just be updated and added to but it won't be I've got no intention of moving it again to another provider I just don't want to rebuild it keep rebuilding it it'd be nice just to have it there and it's a place where everything that I do will be every recording and eventually I'll have every video on there as well just as like a separate thing because I don't know how many videos, like four, five hundred videos I've got on YouTube that there's recordings, audio recordings of all of them. But it might be interesting for people to see my funny face on there. And uh, you can watch some of the old stuff going back loads and loads of years ago. So I'll eventually put all that and have that linked to the to YouTube, put it on YouTube so you can just watch it um, yeah, that's it what are we going to say listen to downloads Yeah, because on 
on each page, uh, like every podcast page, every every page which has an audio player on, it gives you the option to download as well as listen to it. You can stream it or download it on the page. Um, so yeah, it's it's one of those websites that clearly is never going to be finished because I've been building this since probably since 2004 actually when I first I think I had the domain since 2004 um, and then but I really put work into it from 2006 onwards and it's had many different shapes and sizes it's been honestly probably hundreds of times it's been built and rebuilt and it's been with so many pretty much every website host nearly every website host on the internet is being hosted by at one time or another and I've never been amazingly pleased with any of them really at times I have but I think the way it is now I don't I think the only way it's going to be exactly how I want it to be is if I Learn the intricacies of the modern, you know, some of like the code, the back end code, a Python and different, various different codes to uh, make it perfect, you know, to make it really, really good for how I want it to be. But I know my way around WordPress quite well now because I've built so many websites using it so that's kind of a skill in itself um, and yeah I'm, I'm kind of fairly pleased with how it is bearing in mind that most people now based on the stats most people seem to use phones and tablets rather than laptops or computers or PCs when it comes to watching or listening to my stuff so which is that's the that's the way isn't it that's how things are I prefer to look at a website on a laptop that's just my just a personal preference for me however for ease I have found myself more often using the phone so if I'm watching something on television and the name of somebody comes up uh, I'll just think oh I want to know a bit about them I'll have my phone and I'll just just put in their name and search and quite often it comes up as Wikipedia or it's usually quite often about like an actor or director or something like that and I think oh okay and it's done I don't have to I don't have to get out of the chair I walk around to the table and open up the lid of the laptop or whatever all that all that hard stuff <laughs> it's just quick which is and the good thing about that I've noticed is when I do it on my phone I don't spend half an hour surfing and looking at other stuff. I just get the fact I want and then that's it. If I do it on a laptop, often I'll, I'll forget why I even went on there because I'll end up on a completely different website look at, looking at something just different to what I was looking for. So I want to do it on the phone because I don't enjoy, you know, really using the internet on the phone because the screen's too small for me. Um, other than for just text, text or um, you know, reading something on Wikipedia, I guess looking at pictures that's okay because it's big enough for that, or watching a YouTube video. But then I can stream that to the television anyway. 
so yeah the other thing I'm doing is I'm still transcribing my recordings so I'm now I'm doing I'm transcribing the let me bore you to sleep ones only the the online part not the part that I actually have to do anything but I'm still doing it it's taking it's, it's quite each one takes about 15 to 20 to half an hour you know uh, to get it processed and then I cut you know cut and paste and store it and save it and it's kind of like I'm trying to trying to get everything organised so the next step will be to actually listen it to each recording and uh, do the editing and and then just see where I'm going to go from there and I don't know where I'm going to go from there that's the thing but I'm still doing it I'm still keeping at it so um, at the very least it will be a description of the recording and I'll post that onto the website and onto the podcasts that's at the very minimum which will be possibly be useful for those that w- would like that, that would prefer to have some kind of a description of what I'm going to be talking about, instead of sitting through an hour and thinking, well, when's he going to start talking about something useful? So yeah, so that's, that's me, I'm still doing that, and uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to go now. So thank you everyone for listening and if you want to contact me just just go to my website Um, there's lots of information on there and I will speak to you very soon lots of love and remember, remember to be kind to yourself bye